So we're kind of switching it up a bit. We're, we're doing a, a pop punk sound now. And I mean, I feel like that came so naturally for you. Just having, like I said, been a fan of your music. There was kind of always that, there was always that element inside of you. So I think the transition was so like organic how like what led you to pursue this kind of pop punk and also this vulnerable project yeah i mean uh just just basically i i like to try to write from the very current emotions of of real life and when i was writing this record it was a time where i was going through like a bit of a weird ending to a relationship where you know it's not fully done but it is done mm. and but you're still talking and I'm sure, well, I hope you haven't been there, but <laughs> it's a, it's, but it's a thing, you know, where it, 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 it was very, um, I don't want to say frustrating, but it, it led to a lot of creative output, I'll say. Yeah. And the, and the direction of that creative output felt different than uh, my typical music, which I would say like, you know, is, is very carefree and I don't know, aspirational or summary or all these adjectives that I certainly wasn't in the mindset for so I just I wanted to push myself to write something that was very real and very honest to what I was experiencing and um, collaborating with my buddy Nick from the Rex he lives in that alternative world he lives in that indie world indie rock pop punk pop rock so I think those influences naturally sort of um, combined with my inclinations in that world as well and we just kind of moved in that direction a little bit it just felt like that's what the songs wanted. Yeah. I mean, where you are taking on such like different themes with this, are you a little like nervous to share it? I I, I mean, the, the track, wouldn't that be nice? Your lyrics, Thanksgiving day. I'm so fucking embarrassed. I didn't even know that you're flying to LA to have like Thanksgiving or have dinner with his parents. Yeah. And that's, uh, <laughs> that's very raw and real. Were you nervous to put that out? Um, it's so weird. Uh, because, when I wrote these songs, I was, they were like sort of like the soothing aspect to like the anxiety that I was feeling in my life. So just having these songs was such a, was such like a, um, almost like a, a part of closure for me mm -hmm. to write them. Um, and I, I've, I've had them for a little bit. I held on to them more than I normally would. So I, I was so happy with them and I had no perspective of, oh, well, at some point I have to release these to people and, and get other people's feedback. I like, I was, I, um, I was nervous, but honestly, I'm just, I don't think there's anything that I could like, even if people were like, Oh, we don't like this sound from you. Like, I'm so excited that I made it yeah. that I don't, I don't know that it, it could change anything. But so far I was like, especially with, wouldn't that be nice? It was like a, um, really awesome, like feedback from the fans. Like so many people that were like, I needed this in my life right now. And you know, it makes it all worthwhile when you hear stuff like that. I feel like that must be so validating for yourself just to be able to put music out that you just like and you don't really care what others think. Have you ever felt that way, you know, prior to this release? Yeah, I mean, I think I always, I always feel that way. That's always the goal. But there's a point when you have to turn on like the, okay, well, you've created something, but now you got to put on your marketing brain, right? Yeah. Now you're <laughs> Now you're going into promo mode and release mode, and that's a whole different thing. And I think that process can cause some of those fears or those that nervousness because ah, oh, will this will this do well? Will people like it? What should I make the music video look like? You know, and and you just sort of kind of turn on this other switch. I I really felt um, less of that this time. Just even though the music is so different, it felt like wow, like what an opportunity. Like maybe this is going to change. Uh, some people who think they know exactly what my music sounds like, they feel they hear this and they go, "Oh, I shit, I didn't realize like you do this too." Like, yeah. I'm kind of a fan of it, or or like just the natural growing up process with like, you know, someone who is a who's been a fan of mine since they were 16 and now they're 24 right now. Like, they might be growing in the same way that I've grown and not want to listen to the same exact music from eight years ago, even if it still holds like a special part of their life, like. I hope to continue growing with those people uh, as they grow up. 